This meditation is designed to help cultivate a sense of basic trust in your body. Trusting that your body has the capacity for healing, for thriving, and for creating new life. Trusting that when your body is given nourishing support and care, it can function at its highest potential. If you've been on your fertility journey for some time now, your faith in your body may waver at times. Through this meditation practice, you'll be guided to open to the possibility that you are whole, you are well, and your body is amazing. I'm Dr. Natalie Masson, and I'm a psychologist specializing in the mind-body connection. In my Fertility from the Soul programs, I'm creating tools and gathering information to help you move along your fertility journey in an empowered and heartfelt manner. Subscribe to this channel to stay up to date with my latest creations. Before we delve into this experience, I'd like to share a bit about the notions behind this particular meditation. You're welcome to move and stretch your body as you listen to this introduction. In a little while, I'll invite you to settle into stillness. There are several benefits to cultivating a sense of trust in your body's innate abilities. When we assume our body is incapable and insufficient, we might overlook opportunities to best care for it. We might over-rely on external interventions. We might be inclined to do things that throw off our body's wise, instinctive design. We might send subtle messages to our body that inhibit its full potential. On the other hand, when we let go of the stress of fear, doubt, and helplessness, our bodies can relax and open up to joyful possibilities like creating new life. When you internalize a core belief that your body is capable and resilient, you might be more inclined to proactively take good care of yourself. You might listen more carefully to your body's signals for what it needs. You might establish the kind of ease in your being that is most conducive to optimal fertility. And wouldn't it just feel nice to be able to trust your body and enjoy your fertility journey? Imagine how nice it would be to walk along this path with a smile on your face because you trust that everything is going to be okay. If this sounds pleasing to you, then I invite you to come along for an exploration that can help you appreciate and trust the brilliant design of your amazing body. You can listen to this as often as you feel it's helpful. Each time you listen, you might have a slightly different experience. I encourage you to let go of any expectations of how you should experience this. Just be open to whatever unfolds for you. I expect that you'll become deeply relaxed during this experience, so please only use this recording when it's safe for you to relax completely. Don't listen while driving or doing activities that require focused attention. I recommend finding a time when you can listen to the entire recording uninterrupted in a quiet, comfortable setting. You may ignore suggestions if they don't feel helpful, and you can discontinue your experience any time you wish to. I do weave in hypnotic suggestion techniques in this meditation, so be aware that images and suggestions that you wish to let in are reaching you on both a conscious and subconscious level, so they can impact you in a wide range of positive ways that you might find pleasantly surprising. If you're ready now, Let's begin. Let's start by loosening up your body, shaking out any tension. You might make big circles with your arms. 
or shake your head as you loosen your neck. Roll your shoulders. Shake out your arms. Rotate your wrists and ankles. You might open your mouth wide, stretching your jaws if you are yawning. And then taking in a nice full breath as you reach up and stretch your body as long as you can. And then release your breath, letting your arms down and gently transitioning to a reclining position where you can completely let go and sink in. It's such a gift when you have permission to just let go, unwind, and be as you are. Perhaps you'd like to let yourself receive this gift right now. Accepting permission to let go on every level. Letting go of the activities of your day. Letting go of your lists and plans. Letting go of concerns. As if all these things were written on little pieces of paper and a big gust of wind came by and just carried them off. Letting all this material be swept away into the distance for now. Leaving you here now. Listening to the sound of my voice, inviting you to discover the ease of just being as you are right now in this moment. And you might find that it's quite easy to focus on the sound of my voice, the words I'm sharing. And even when your conscious attention drifts, you can trust that your subconscious mind is hearing everything necessary for you to be guided on this path of learning to trust your body more fully with each breath that flows into your body and out. Speaking of the breath, isn't it interesting how the body knows how to breathe? Whether you're awake or asleep, whether you're resting or you're running, your body knows how to breathe to sustain you every minute of the day. We can take that for granted, but I still find that rather remarkable. Your body knows how to breathe, and you can trust that your body knows what to do to move nourishing air into your body and out. And as you notice that your breath flows all by itself, you might also notice a general sense of calm and relaxation washing over your body right now. Each in-breath drawing in calming energy. Each out-breath releasing tension that isn't needed. Each cycle of breath drawing you into a deeper and deeper state of relaxation. You might notice all the tiny muscles in your face softening and relaxing. Through your forehead, behind your eyes, around your temples. 
through your jaw and your cheeks. Softening through your tongue, your mouth, and your throat. Feeling your breath draw in calming, soothing energy that you can feel flowing through your whole body, your arms, your legs, your torso. If your eyes have not closed yet, you might feel your eyelids getting ever heavier. Heavier and heavier, to the point where it just feels so nice to allow them to close. And in this deeply relaxed state, it might even feel like it's just too much work to even open your eyes as it can be so nice to just rest, drifting, relaxing, and trusting that in this moment, there's nothing more you need to do besides just letting yourself be as you are right now. Breath flowing into your body and out all by itself because your body knows exactly how to do this on its own. Not only does your body draw in air and release it in a smooth, rhythmical way, it instinctively knows how to transfer air in your lungs, through your lung tissues, and into your bloodstream where the oxygen from the air gets delivered to all your organs, all your tissues, where it feeds and nourishes all your vital bodily functions. And after a cell uses oxygen, it releases carbon dioxide, which is then released back through the lungs and out into the air around you. I find that truly remarkable. Your body knows how to do this instinctively. What an amazing system your body is running. I wonder if you've ever noticed other remarkable things your body does all by itself. Have you ever thought about how your body figures out how to take the food you put in it extract the nutrients, send the nutrients where they need to go, and discard the parts that aren't useful. All you need to do is chew and swallow. Your amazing body does all the rest for you. Have you ever watched a cut or scrape on your body healing? It takes a while, but what was once an open wound gradually closes and heals over if you give it the right kind of protection. The tissues, the skin, your amazing body regenerates cells and rebuilds itself. When you break a bone in your body, your body recruits resources within itself to grow that bone back together a little outside help to make sure the bones are properly aligned and kept stable, the body heals its own bones perfectly. What an intelligent design we carry inside our own bodies. In so many ways, your body knows exactly what to do all on its own. It might feel comforting and even enlivening to realize that your body is brilliant, intelligent, and capable like this. Your body is quite amazing. I wonder if you've ever noticed 
that some individuals seem to have exceptionally brilliant bodies. I notice this myself, particularly every two years when the Olympic Games comes around. I watch the skaters spinning on the ice, the gymnasts flipping through the air, the pole vaulters launching themselves 20 feet into the air, propelled by their own speed and a pole. And I say, wow, their bodies are extra amazing. How in the world are they so exceptional? No doubt they have some level of inborn talent and they have a tremendous amount of drive and usually a lifetime of training under their belts. But there's something else they have in common, and it's in their mindset. Have you ever heard an Olympic athlete step off the medal stand and say, I really didn't think I could do this. I really didn't believe I was capable. Probably not. They almost always say, I kept believing in myself. I knew I had it in me. All those who really soar have a strong, unwavering belief in themselves that anything is possible and they will do everything in their power to see themselves through to their peak performance. Another thing about those who perform exceptionally well is that they surround themselves with those who also believe in them. Can you imagine an athlete's coach saying, I don't think you can do this. I don't think your body is capable. Clearly, that would be counterproductive coaching. Imagine now a child sharing a big, big dream with a parent and the parent responding with criticism and doubt. That's silly. You can't do that. Imagine what happens inside that child's spirit, within that child's body, within that child's life force. Now what if that parent said, you are amazing, you are capable, follow your dreams. What would happen in that child's spirit Now allowing yourself to sink into an even deeper relaxation as you open your mind to a universe of possibilities. In this open and inquisitive state, you can step back and ponder, who's right anyway? Is it the encouraging coach? or the pessimistic coach? Is it the uplifting parent or the critical parent telling someone you are able or you are not able? Which one is the most correct about your body's capacity, about what the future holds for you? Who knows best when the future is unknown? Who has a crystal ball? Does anyone really know? What if no one really knows? What if what's believed is unknown, whether it's right or it's wrong? whether it happens or it doesn't happen. What if it turns out that the future is actually unknown and no one really knows for sure what it holds, but you get to write the beginning of the script by deciding what you want to believe in right now. 
you get to write the beginning of the script by deciding what you want to believe in right now. You have a big dream in your heart, a dream to bring a baby into your life. That is a beautiful dream. Would you like to lift up your dream by believing that anything is possible? That maybe, just maybe, you could get that gold medal. Perhaps you already believe this to be possible, and that's why you're here right now. Perhaps there's a twinkle in your eye that says, Yes, I think I can. I think my body is amazing. Perhaps you could use a little boost to strengthen your trust in all the miraculous things your body can do. So if you're willing, I'd like to guide you on a little excursion to a place where you'll be surrounded by positive, encouraging, uplifting energy, supporting and strengthening your belief in yourself, your body, and your dream a place where you can fully embrace the amazingness of your own body. Let's start by taking a short stroll through a field, not a field of dreams, but actually the opposite. It's a field of any doubt or pessimism that you currently struggle with. Looking around you, let the details come into view. Perhaps you see written signs of warning or people with disapproving expressions on their faces. Maybe there are plants that are wilted and withered. If you don't have any doubts, then perhaps this field is fairly empty. And that's lovely, just notice that. But if you do struggle with fear or doubt about whether your body can conceive, then take a moment to look around. It might be a field of broken dreams, statistics that are not in your favor, Practitioners who are pessimistic about your chances. Friends or relatives who you might not even want to tell that you're hoping to get pregnant. Stories in the media that suggest you've waited too long. All the images that represent a door closing on the possibilities for your dream. Noticing how it feels in your body to acknowledge this point of view. And now turning to look off in another direction. There's something very different in the distance. It's surprising you could have missed this, but there's a giant hot air balloon not far away, waiting on the ground. Notice the brilliance of the colors as you walk closer. As you approach this radiant hot air balloon, you see there's a kind guide waiting at the door to the large basket under the balloon. As you come closer, you feel a warmth and welcoming from this kind guide who seems to understand you and your dreams. There's a quality of deep wisdom that this guide exudes. 
and you can sense this guide sees all kinds of positive possibilities for you and your future. You can see a sign on the basket that reads, hope, dreams, and trust. You realize that you're welcome to bring anyone on board the hot air balloon who you'd like to have accompany you on this journey. And as you board, you can feel the warmth of the heat above you. You hear your own footsteps on the wooden floor of this basket. There's a tray with your favorite snacks and beverages for you to enjoy. You can accept this invitation to enjoy a sip of a drink, a bite of food, delighting your senses as you prepare for liftoff. Your guide unwinds the rope that had tethered the balloon to the ground, and you feel yourself slowly and gracefully rising up. higher and higher. Looking down below, you see the field beneath you. Any negativity, any brokenness, any doubters or naysayers on the ground below. They are gradually getting smaller and smaller as you drift up and away. Eventually that field of doubts and brokenness is so tiny you cannot see any details and finally it just vanishes in the distance. Leaving all that behind you might feel a sense of lightness and ease as your balloon travels through the blue, blue sky, wispy clouds occasionally blowing by, touching your skin with a cool, refreshing moisture. Traveling over hillsides, enjoying the lovely landscape beneath you. How nice it is to let yourself be free and to look forward to discovering what lies ahead. Your balloon is now beginning its descent and you can feel yourself lowering and you can see the ground getting closer. Coming into view is a field that is full of vibrant colors. You can feel an energy of warmth and joy as your balloon gently lands. You thank your guide for bringing you here and your guide responds with a gesture of warmth and encouragement with a smile that lets you know this is going to be a lovely experience. As you step out of the basket, you realize you have landed in a field of dreams, surrounded by all things hopeful and positive. You see plants that are strong and healthy, some are blooming with fragrant flowers. You might even pause to breathe in the scent of the flowers. You see signs with encouraging messages. You can pause to read the messages whenever you wish to. The words might bring a smile to your face. You might see people who are here to support you. Maybe they are medical practitioners. Maybe they are alternate health practitioners. Maybe they are coaches or trainers. 
Perhaps you see both familiar and unfamiliar faces on your cheering team. Like the spectators at a marathon, showering the runners with applause and encouragement. Continuing along as you soak in the positivity, you see statues of those who believed in possibilities even when they were surrounded by doubters and critics telling them they couldn't. The Wright brothers who flew the first airplane. Early voyagers who were told the earth was flat and they would fall off if they went too far out. Olympic medalists who were told early on that they didn't have enough potential. They all held to their beliefs that something else was possible, that they were capable of something amazing beyond what others expected. As you admire your surroundings, you might just drink in the energy of this place through your breath. Everything around you exudes a sense of hope, possibilities, and healthy vibrance. It's almost as if the breeze whispers in your ear, yes, everything is possible. I believe in you. As you continue along, you might be pleased to find a lovely place where you can kick up your feet and relax. It's just the kind of setting that you'd love to settle into. Wonderfully comfortable and soothing. Taking this opportunity to kick back and relax you might notice that your body is almost buzzing with an energy of wholeness, wellness, and contentment. In this relaxed and open state you're in, it's almost as if you can more clearly sense all the systems in your body that are running so smoothly all on their own. Aware that your body breathes all by itself, sending oxygen to all the places it's needed in your body. Aware that your heart pumps blood through your arteries into your veins, reaching capillaries all throughout your body. Your organs know how to process all the food you take in and transform it into vital energy to fuel your brain, your muscles, and all of your essential daily needs. When you have enough energy, your body can also give strength to the process of creating new life. Of course, this is no small feat, so your body needs your support to perform this kind of mini miracle. As you enjoy the warmth and comfort of the sunny atmosphere in this magical space where everything seems possible, it might occur to you that there's so much you can do to support your body in doing all it's capable of. Hydrating with a nice glass of water, eating nourishing foods, moving your body to get your blood flowing every day, getting lots of restorative sleep, taking breaks to relax, creating space for deeply relaxing time, just as you're doing right now. When your whole system is well nourished and supported, your reproductive system can function at its best. 
You might even be able to picture this intelligently designed system working smoothly inside of you. Hormones are released into your bloodstream that send a signal to your reproductive organs to coordinate a cycle that is primed for creating new life. Eggs that have been inside you since birth are waiting for their turn to be selected for maturing. Each month, new eggs are selected to go through a maturing period that takes several months. At this very moment, you might be aware that many eggs are being nurtured in your ovaries right now. And every month, one egg that seems most ready is selected to be released. Meanwhile, each month, your body builds a thick lining in your uterus, preparing to catch a fertilized egg. After your egg is released, it goes on a little journey. If it gets fertilized by a sperm along the way, it can then implant in the thick lining of your uterus and the miracle of new life has begun. If it's unfertilized, your lining will be released and cleared out and the cycle will begin again. What a complex and sophisticated system. Your body maintains this cycle month after month all by itself. So wise and sophisticated. Your body is amazing. Aware of this masterpiece of sophistication that you carry around inside yourself every moment, your reproductive system, a system designed for creating and nurturing new life. Allowing in a deep and soothing breath, trusting that your body is designed for creating new life. Most likely, your body knows exactly what to do. Perhaps there are elements that are somewhat out of alignment. Perhaps there are areas where some more support is needed. Or perhaps just patience and time are needed to spark new life. Noticing if you can allow this belief to resonate within you. My body knows how to do this. My body knows how to do this. And holding this basic assumption you might be curious to inquire within your wise self. Is there anything in my system that is out of alignment? Is there anything blocking the flow of energy in my system? Is there any area where I could be giving my system better support? Are there things going on in my life that cause my system to lose valuable energy? Trusting that any images or ideas that come into your mind could have valuable meaning to them. Revisiting these questions now and just noticing what arises into your awareness. Is there anything in my system that is out of alignment? Is there anything blocking the flow of energy in my system? Is there any area where I could be giving my system better support? 
Are there things going on in my life that cause my system to lose valuable energy? If anything has occurred to you that might help support your body's sophisticated system, just notice if you're willing to offer your body this support. Perhaps seeking guidance wherever outside guidance might be helpful. Perhaps you can envision yourself taking steps to support and care for your precious body. Speaking kindly to your body, giving it lots of rest, giving it excellent nourishment, and saying thank you looking in the mirror at your own body and saying, thank you. Thank you for all that you do for me day in and day out. You are amazing. Surrounding yourself now with positive energy, people who are open to supporting you and cheering you on, people who believe in you and your dream. These can be real people or imaginary people, only limited by your imagination. Hearing all of these voices letting you know, I believe in you. Your body is amazing. Perhaps you can even hear your own voice. I believe in myself. My body is amazing. Noticing how it feels to begin to let this message in. I believe in myself. My body is amazing. There may be times when it seems things aren't working and doubt creeps back in. Remember the field of broken dreams that you left behind? Next time you feel some doubt or disappointment, it might occur to you that when it's not happening, it doesn't mean it can't happen or it won't happen. It only means it hasn't happened yet. Some things in nature just take time. Even a baby bird first leaving the nest will sometimes flounder and fall at first. Given some time, eventually that bird will soar with grace. Sometimes it just takes time. Your body is amazing. There may be times you experience setbacks as you reach for your dream. Even the most agile elite athletes will let you know that there are times when they stumble and fall. When an elite gymnast falls off the beam, does she say, I can't do this? Or does she say, I can keep trying? There is a deep-seated belief of I can and I will. Picture a bird soaring through the sky. Do you see any doubt and uncertainty? Or do you see confidence and grace? Allowing yourself now to channel that same confidence and grace that you see in a soaring bird and allowing yourself to soar toward your dream with confidence and grace. Your body is amazing. Your body is amazing. It's time now to transition from your beautiful retreat space in the field of dreams and infinite possibilities. But the good news is that 
the positive feelings you've experienced here are all things that you can take with you. As you return to your daily life, this core sense of trust in your body can stay with you. Your support team of cheerleaders can be alongside you. Your guide who brought you here is still available to you. This amazing body you have is with you every step of the way. Thanking the field of dreams for reminding you that so much is possible and your body is a miracle. Your body is capable of creating miracles. Understanding that any time you wish to return to this magical place, it's here for you to revisit. Now as you prepare to transition from this deep relaxation, you can expect to feel very calm and peaceful. If it's an appropriate time to go to sleep right now, you can let yourself drift off now into deep restorative sleep. If you'll be continuing on with activities of your day, you can start tuning in to the breath flowing into your body and out. Each breath bringing you to a slightly more wakeful state as you begin to notice sensations in your fingers and your toes, in your arms and your legs. You might start to bring movement into your hands and feet. Maybe stretching your arms overhead. Noticing how it feels to move and stretch your amazing body. Noticing how incredible it feels to be alive and well. Noticing that you can touch your own body in a kind and appreciative way. Perhaps massaging your own hands and fingers. Maybe your forearms too. Appreciating all that your hands and arms do for you day in and day out. And perhaps resting your hands over your womb and breathing into this sacred space. Aware that amazingness is happening inside of you at this very moment. Preparing to move forward now with a sense of confidence in your path a trust in your body and a commitment to do all that you can to support your body in reaching its ultimate potential. I hold trust that small miracles will be manifesting as you move along your path. Thank you for trusting and allowing me to be your guide on your sacred journey to motherhood.